So when we're looking at 2021, we're all excited to get back out on the field, of course. And, you know, when we talk about our team goals, we're always looking at first one in our conference, which is to be special because this is really our last year with our women's lacrosse, truly with our conference. So we want to win that. That's going to put us in a good position to do hopefully well in the end state tournament, which our ultimate goal is to get back to the Final Four and be battling for our national championship. But we know it's going to take a lot of hard work, dedication, and commitment uh, knowing there's so many good teams out there. I think everyone's just like to say, so excited to get back on the field and, and just hungry to play some outside competition and, and hungry just to get show what they're able to do. Knowing that last year was cut short for everyone. I mean, the girls have a lot to prove after coming off of 2019 and being in that championship game. You know, everyone, veteran-wise, knows what it takes and that we have a lot of work to do. Well, I think we stress the national championship mentality every time we step foot on the field. Coach holds us to the highest standard, and he knows we have, you know, potential to be successful. So we all do a really good job at holding each other and ourselves accountable to make sure that each practice is better than the last one and to ultimately get back to the national championship. We're looking for them to really use that experience that they gained you know, two years ago and as freshmen, uh, taking all that experience and help leading the younger group that's kind of coming in as well as, you know, Lily Cavallaro coming on that offensive end. I feel she's going to do a great job. Senior leadership from Lydia McNulty, uh, another veteran player that should be, you know, in that mix of being able to create scoring opportunities for us. So we're, we're looking forward to seeing that the veteran group as well as the newer players coming in and, and doing well for us. Well, luckily, we only graduated one attacker, so we're returning a lot of our starting offense. But just to ultimately learn each other's strengths and to be able to figure out each defense that's thrown at us. Also, we're really working on our ride this year and, and just uh, getting back as soon as possible and correctly shifting and effectively communicating. And we lost some good players in that midfield area, especially in the draw. So with Riley helping take the draw, Delaney taking a the draw. Uh, we have a new uh, freshman coming in, Becca Ponte, and also Alyssa, Alyssa Bogart, all two others that could be seeing some time you know, in that draw control area. But again, our midfield is going to be the heart and soul getting up down the field and really doing their job of shutting things down on the defensive end and starting to create our, our scoring offense on the offensive side of things. So as a midfielder, your role is to be a leader on the offensive and defensive side of the field. So this year, we are returning pretty much all of our veteran midfield players, and I think that they are all extremely smart, strong, and have very good lacrosse IQ. So that is going to be able to get us from the ball, from the defensive to the offensive, very fast with the speed we have and the talent we're bringing back. Yeah, with Kerry and Kate returning as veteran players there, we've got a lot of other players that are coming back that saw a little bit of time, so we feel that's a good, you know, core with, you know, Brooke coming back, Carolyn McKenna coming back, Emily G coming back, so, you know, with that leadership and experience, we're really looking for them to be able to shut down some of the opponent's offenses and, you know, create turnovers as well as, you know, get, create our scoring, our, our transition, you know, after we shut down maybe their scoring play. Through this year, we have a lot of great people coming in. Um, the past few weeks, we have really been coming together, um, working hard. Our intensity has been picking up, and I'm just excited for beginning the season and figuring out our strengths and weaknesses as the season goes on so that we can continue to improve and be a strong defensive unit. The key aspects are definitely communication. Um, we talk about this every year. If we don't communicate, we're not going to be successful as a defensive unit. Coach and Allie have given us everything that we need to be successful as a defensive unit, so we need to keep communicating, keep learning from those mistakes. Another key component of our defense is having lacrosse IQ, something that coach always harps on. From watching film and just talking to each other off the field, we can become smarter so we can work harder and be a strong defensive unit. It's really a special position when you only have one on the field at a time, you know, obviously not everyone's competing for that one spot. But, you know, we have a new player that came in, Maddie Hall, she's doing a great job just working hard. But our two veteran players, of course, have that upper hand and they're doing really well. They both bring something special. Uh, MC and Kaylee both bring something special to the table and into the goal area. I mean, they're both fighting for that, that starting spot. They, they both look very nice you know, so far during this, this spring season. Since I committed here to Salisbury Lacrosse, I noticed something extremely special about this team like no other team I've been on before. And you don't just make friendships here, you form a family. And I just felt that this year especially our team has harped on this because just like any other team, we lost a lot of time to COVID and we are maximizing on all the time we have now and it is actually growing us better as a team. 
and I feel like with this family that we have formed, we're going to definitely win a national championship this year.